Hey guys, hey guys, so it's uh, lesson five here, day five of the video series. Um, what we're going to talk today about today is uh, perfect fours and also augmented fours, um, just because we're going up the different types of intervals. So we'll turn here real quick and talk about the uh, perfect and augmented fours real quick. Now, <clears throat> a perfect fourth is, is super simple. Um, some people get confused with augmented fourth, but augmented fourth is super simple as well. Um, basically what a perfect fourth is, is um, so let's say you're starting on C, you're going to go up two whole steps and a half step to get to a perfect fourth interval. So up one whole step to D, up another whole step to E, and then up a half step to F. And that's a perfect fourth, okay, because there's two whole steps and a half step in between. That's what makes a perfect fourth. That's kind of the formula. And you can do this anywhere on the keyboard. So let's say we're on F sharp. Um, you go up a whole step to G sharp, and then you go up a whole step to A sharp, and then you've got to go up a half step to what note? B, right? So that's a perfect uh, fourth on the black notes um, because there is two whole steps and a half step. Now, an augmented fourth, to explain a little bit about that, is augmenting basically means to make bigger. So when you augment a fourth, you're just going to make it one half step bigger. So let's go back to C, because everyone understands C really well. You're going to go up a whole step, another whole step, and then a half step, and that makes a perfect fourth. Then you're going to go up another half step to make an augmented fourth to F sharp. So you're just making it a little bit bigger, and that's called augmented because you're just making it a little bit bigger. And it kind of works, again, it works anywhere on the keyboard. Um, so you could say that the formula for an augmented fourth is three half steps, or, or sorry, three whole steps, or um, two whole steps and two half steps, however you want to look at it. So we'll do an augmented fourth here. So we're on F sharp, we go up a whole step to G sharp, another whole step to A sharp, and then you go a half, half step to B, and that's a perfect fourth, so we're going to make it one half step bigger, put it to, to C, right, or B sharp, and that's an augmented fourth. Now it's not C, it has to be a B sharp, or else it's no longer a perfect, or an augmented fourth. So again, uh, the basic formula for a perfect fourth is two whole steps and a half step, um, for an augmented fourth, it's three whole steps, or two whole steps and two half steps. So, super simple, easy way to explain it. Um, we'll go over a couple more just so you can get the idea. So let's say we're on D here, we're going to make a perfect fourth, and we're going to go up one whole step, another whole step, and a half step. That equals a perfect fourth. Some people, they like to count just the half steps because it's easier for them. So, if you're going to do just half steps, it's five half steps. So up a half step, so we're on D, we're going up a half step, up another half step, that's two, up another half step, that's three, up another half step, that's four, up another half step, that's five. So that's a, a perfect fourth uh, by counting half steps. If you want to augment that or make it an augment, augmented fourth, you just go up one more half step. So that's kind of the basic formula for per perfect fourth and augmented fourths. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, if you have anything that you want me to go over, um, feel free to message me as well, and I'll do a video for that. Um, if I, if the not, if I don't get a message from anyone, then we're just going to keep on going through the intervals. So um, good luck to you, and again, if you have any questions, let me know.